Many of the retired crusaders found a home with the navies of France and the Philippines. NASA found the speedy gunfighter a valuable tool for research and photography. Like the famed Corsair of World War II, the Crusader's role as a fighter remains only as a proud chapter in the history of Vought. In June of 1989, the last of the gunfighters prepares to take off for one final flight. The Crusader retired as a Navy fighter in 1976, the same year the Navy retired the last of its small Essex-class carriers. Considering the long relationship between airplane and ship, this dual retirement was appropriate. The Crusader would continue in its role as a photo bird well into the 80s until it was replaced by the F-18 Hornet. There is really no modern equivalent to the F-8 Crusader. For the past three decades, the Defense Department has demanded that all new aircraft must perform a variety of functions, from aerial combat to bombing. Multi-mission aircraft have forever replaced the proud line of pure fighters that began in World War I and ended with the Crusader. As the last of the gunfighters departs Andrews Air Force Base, another chapter in naval aviation history is closed. <laughs>